good afternoon good afternoon jyoti how are you good alpa how are you doing i'm good too thank you <laughs> so let's uh, begin with uh, today's topic today we are going to talk about when to stop massaging your baby so we all have heard that it's very important to massage your baby for the first year but does this mean that one should stop massaging the baby after the baby turns 1 so let's talk more about this and understand and we will also talk about uh, how one should change the approach to massaging keeping the age and the developmental phase of the baby in mind so let's start by talking about how one feels it's um, easy to massage the baby until like you know they are under 6 months they are not moving a lot or maybe until like 3 to 4 months until they are not moving a lot but once they start turning on their tummy uh, once they have achieved this milestone uh, one faces challenges in giving them massage because they don't want to lie still after a few minutes they want to turn over and go on their stomach so what can be done to make massaging easier once the child starts growing uh, starts achieving different um, milestones and um, doesn't want to stay in one position for a long time any tips on this chuti okay so let's start uh, right from the beginning from newborns and this is something we repeat over and over again that we have to work with baby schedules with baby's developmental phases and requirements the baby's growth and developmental goals are what should be driving our massage um that is what is going to help the baby achieve what they need <clears throat> uh so but right. there are having said that there are some tips that can help you uh adjust to your baby's age and uh, developmental phase for mm-hmm. example when the baby is newborn right in the beginning uh the goals of the baby are uh safety and protection they they just want protection safety security comfort uh so we provide that as we have told many many times over in the first few weeks by giving them as much skin to skin holding them cuddling them you can introduce baby wearing rocking uh walking bo- back and forth with them all of that then yes uh, after yes. you know around first month after 3 to 4 weeks you introduce the massage techniques and strokes at that point we introduce just a few minutes every day in because that is what the baby needs at that time we do not want to over stimulate the baby with excessive massaging um when we are doing this uh, we have to also keep looking at the baby's responses and appropriately Uh, you know if we feel that it's too much for the baby they've had enough something is not comfortable we tweak our massage according to that okay all of this we have right. covered in our previous sessions and spoken about it that we have to keep the yes. baby's comfort in mind so um once we are starting to massage the baby like you said first few months are relatively easier because the baby is not turning they are not sitting up they are in one position we can turn them over as we want so one yeah. key thing for parents to remember at this point is if they are able to create a positive association with massage during this phase which means when you massage your baby and they are enjoying it uh which means they are enjoying your touch the pressure your presence they are not crying during this phase they will like it so much that going further ahead in time when you give them the cue for massage and ask them shall we massage even if they want to turn or crawl away they would love to have their massage because by that time they would have been used to a wonderful experience with your touch the relaxation and the positive cascade of hormones that it brings along so 
make it a nice happy interactive playful experience for children at this age because going forward then whenever you give the cue that you are going to begin a massage they will be so happy to receive it that they will not want to wriggle away crawl away etc most of the times so that's one thing to keep in mind um second is as the kids start growing older say they are starting to turn maybe you can have a mobile toy above them keep them on a mat where the mobile toy is above them and they are looking at it and so they keep looking at it and kicking at it or whatever and playing while you are able to get your massage um second is uh, if they start turning they are on their tummy um then go ahead and do the back of the legs do the legs and the arms and the back uh finish your massage and then turn them over uh don't make it a fight about like you know oh i have to go in this particular order so i will only do the legs then the stomach then the chest then the arms etc yes we have a sequence mm-hmm. and yes the sequence and rhythm has uh, you know when done in that way it you know there is a particular benefit to that rhythm and predictability but when the baby reaches a age and they want to explore they want to turn around then we adapt um make it playful if you turn them around back on their back you know make it playful and introduce some language and say hey alia you're turning over let me turn you back let me do your tummy first whatever you talk to them make it engaging or make it fun start cycling their legs something that makes it enjoyable then finish your massage and then go ahead so you will have to engage with them uh, their position and adapt to what they want um so yeah up till yes. that age uh, or give them a toy give them a soft toy a teether that they can hold that they can keep engaged with uh and then uh you know you do your massage um so those are some of the things that you can do right right they uh, lovely tips jyoti uh, when you said in uh, to let them have a mobile toy overhead or a soft toy or a book in their hands so that can um, increase the chances of you know getting that their focus on to those things by the time you can uh finish your massage routine so that's a lovely tip and uh, moving forward uh, what to do once they learn crawling now and they want to cr- crawl away so they don't want to be in one place mm. they want to explore obviously uh, it gets very yes. difficult at this time as well yes yes uh, let's so what can keep be done in mind they start crawling yes so let's keep in mind that babies have various behavioral states and these behavioral states uh you know with time uh, the the window of each one of them changes what i'm saying is every baby ha- cries has a quiet alert time active alert time uh quiet sleep uh, sorry deep sleep light sleep uh and drowsiness right. these are the behavioral yeah. states of uh, the baby goes through so uh yeah. we massage our babies in the quiet alert state when they are content when they are relaxed um when they are not very hyper and they are not cranky so we have to understand that we have to figure out and stay consistent with that we are massaging our babies in the time when they are happy to interact when they are in that state the quiet alert time allows us that window when they are not too hyper they will be happy to engage and interact with you um you may want to you may have to adapt your massage so massage the body part that your child likes best best so maybe they like their legs being massaged and the tummy being massaged and they don't like the chest being massaged so much so maybe you just do a little resting hands uh, on the chest and move on you will have to adapt hmm. use songs and rhymes to keep them engaged uh, like i said adapt the massage to accommodate their position supposing they want to sit up 
um then maybe yeah. you anchor them between your legs and uh, while they're sitting in between cocooned in between your legs uh you give them a soft poke or a soft toy and in that position uh from behind them you massage their arms their legs uh, whatever you can reach their head um so the point is you are accommodating to their uh, position uh you by maybe sitting them up in your lap anchored between your lap legs or uh, maybe mm. even uh you know you're holding them as we hold uh, you know over one shoulder to burp them maybe you put them over like that and with one hand you massage their back or you turn them on their stomach and put them on your lap you know a stomach down mm. uh and then massage their back um there are many many ways to accommodate their position just make it playful fun engaging introduce some uh stories songs offer toys and cloth books to maintain their attention you may even try massaging them in the bath you don't need to use the oil if you're doing the stomach or um uh, you know legs arms etc be careful about the safety but when they are sitting in the at bath time if you are able to get like 5 minutes of massage in the bath tub you can do that as well right. so work your right. way around this yeah and uh, the one thing that you suggested anchor them between your legs uh, i'm sure when the babies are anchored between your legs it's uh, uh, most of their body parts are very accessible and it's uh, possible to massage almost all body parts while they are sitting in between your legs maybe their legs uh, the back the shoulders the arms uh, the face the head so most of the body parts uh, are easy to massage when they are in a sitting position in your lap and other things yes. as you suggested could be bath time so um, lovely to uh, know how to adapt to your massage techniques rather than just struggling to keep them in one position let them explore and adapt to the situation the the position that they are in to continue the massages so that's uh, lovely uh, moving on to my next question jyoti so uh, mm-hmm. when does one stop massaging the baby so starting from where i started one the first year is very important to massage the baby but does that mean um, to stop massages after the baby turns one or uh, what's the right age to stop massaging the baby um yes we all hear that it's very important to massage baby during the first year but what we forget is the first 3 years are very very critical for a baby's development growth uh, be it mental physical uh, so Uh, according to us uh, we do not need to stop massaging once the baby is 12 months old but yes we have to adapt um, we have to adapt to the growing uh, baby the growing limbs um, use relaxing strokes before your child goes to sleep change the name of infant massage say now it's a big girl or a big boy uh, you know getting their um, massage right. be aware that your child may prefer certain parts of the body being massaged and reject certain parts uh, continue to use songs rhymes introduce games um, favorite characters uh, change the way you ask for permission uh, for example toddlers will learn how to say no so if you ask them can i massage you they will most likely say no so we have to ask them something like uh, today should we massage the legs or the arms um should we begin with the right arm or the left arm so give close ended questions rather than open ended so that uh, you know of course you still have to keep in mind that the child does want the massage this is just to uh, you know for us to understand that certain things a child uh, will do like they learn the word no and Uh, and again both of these words they like to use you ask them a question um they may answer no just because they learn the power of the 
word yes. he had sleep time in the night uh, you do a little bit over their clothes without oil just uh, you know just their legs or their head or their face which helps them fall asleep uh, it makes a great nighttime routine with stories introduce story massages once they become toddler and even beyond being toddler alpa i i'll just say this um even as adults most of us still enjoy getting a massage so there's really no stop by date for getting a massage it still relaxes most of us still feel relaxed and re-energized after a massage for a baby as well it provides not just uh, relaxation but opportunities to engage interact uh, getting stimulation um, tactile sensory and that gives them opportunities to grow and develop also your connect with them your bonding with them your communication with them gets stronger and deeper as you continue with your massages um so even when they are toddlers uh, you know you continue as they become preschoolers uh, you just learn to adapt now their limbs are much longer so maybe you just do twice a week uh, you know you don't need to massage every day even toddlers you don't need to massage every day but continue two three times a week uh, just do the legs one day just do the back one day stomach another day so on and so forth Mm-hmm. um like i mentioned introduce favorite characters from tv or story books peppa pig bob the builder dora whoever uh, sing songs use nursery rhymes uh, give the choice to your child on okay should we massage the legs or the arms let them tell which area they want a massage on uh when they become school age say they are 6 7 years old uh, let your child tell you a story while you massage tell them why don't you tell me a story today while i massage you um you know adjust mm. your strokes for their longer limbs relate to their hobbies and interests so supposing they have started cycling um make a story about cycling or make if they have started ice skating make ice skating patterns on their back while you're massaging or talk about some of uh, their uh, favorite athletes or sports people or idols and incorporate those hobbies and ideas while you are talking to your children during the massage time uh right. even beyond that alpa uh, even as teenagers today we see so much of anxiety so much of um, at times unfortunately disconnect between children and parents we have nuclear families our social fabric is very different from what it used to be 50 years ago uh, we have so much social media we have more and more isolation um a hug or some touch some relaxation using our hands and our words is a wonderful way to keep that connect alive and that window of communication open give your teenagers a shoulder massage a foot massage uh, ask open ended questions so you prompt sharing of thoughts from their end so really from my side i think there's no stop by date for giving your children um this positive reinforcement with massage thank you for watching for more such videos do like share and subscribe to the first parents